Halo Infinite hit with a delay and a map that was supposed to release back in Season 3 has a chance because of the removal of desync. If you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now I'm sure many of you know this map, Corrosion. It's supposed to come within the game during week 3 of the Yappening. Well, that's apparently changed. Because when you go on the Halo Waypoint, you read the description about the map, Corrosion, and you see an asterisk here saying timing revised back in April 3rd. Yeah, a little late to the news here. It was kind of a hidden change that didn't really get noticed until recently, saying corrosion will arrive in game later this operation with a bespoke 24 7 playlist before this update it was planned for this map to be released during the third week of the yapping now it's a little bit later also just have to say if you guys enjoy these type of videos make sure to tap like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything going on with gaming let's get right back into those details which is interesting to see that this map right here is getting delayed because of it not really being that detailed of a map right there has to be some weird technical issue that's going around which is also interesting because with this new networking model, it's supposed to alleviate a lot of the issues when it comes to Forge creation, the biggest one being desync, which we'll talk about later in this episode. Because when you look at this map, it doesn't really seem like it has that level of detail you come to expect from a lot of Forge creators from the community, right? This map is designed by Sparisoft, so it's a team that's designed to keep the live service of Halo Infinite somewhat going with some new content coming in here and there. Utilizing the map creation tools, which I honestly would think it's a great leverage when it comes to Halo moving forward. But you can see that there's just like that lacks that level of detail when it comes to this map and hiding the forginess of a map, if that's the way to say it. If you want to know what I'm talking about, if you look at it right here, you can see like these are the different blocks, the three different blocks of this rock shape that was added into this map. And also just like the lack of detail that's on this and also like it's just like no corrosion. That's the name of the map, right? along with like this metal platform and you can just kind of see like where the magic is within these maps right it's kind of like a magician not hiding their tricks and just kind of just doing it if you know what i mean but apparently this is getting delayed for whatever reason this might even go beyond the happening we just kind of have to wait and see i'm looking forward to playing on the map from what i've heard from people who have had had a chance to play on the map that it actually is a lot of fun and it looks like you have a great opportunity to just have some fun with it again visually it looks a little uninspired or interesting to jump into so it doesn't really get me super excited to play on this map because the community has been able to pull off is just insane but this map will make it into the rotation sometime soon this is a development team specifically made to make forge map content and map content the same team spares off made elevation which i thought this map was fantastic mainly because it just helped create a much more social unique experience when it comes to playing halo right going the outside area of low g area that just mixes up the gameplay a little bit helps it stand out amongst the crowd so it creates more unique experiences compared to what we had previously which was really just like a much more competitive mindset when it came to a lot of the maps because all the maps that had the launch with the game also had the launch for the hts ranked experience so that's why when the game launched it felt a little bit more sweaty and didn't really feel like it had more wacky fun experiences maps like this when it comes to elevation definitely lean into that social experience we had the same thing happen when it comes to illusion coming in the game and i think illusion it's a fantastic map. The whole camo aspect of the center of the map, I think is a really cool, interesting idea to play around with. And also just, again, has a more social experience to kind of give you a little more wacky, fun times when it comes to playing social because that's what this game has been really missing a lot of. Because like I said, a lot of the maps have felt much more competitive focus rather than social focus in a map like this. Definitely, it's much more social focused. Or Corrosion looks to be much more of a typical type of map nothing too wacky or weird happening with it it is made within four so maybe they're not able to have as much leverage when it comes to the creation tools of a map like we've had with illusion and elevation though the unique aspect of this map is looking to be very much involved around that green goo stuff i've seen within the waypoint blog we do see that you are able to drive through it we do have a player that's dying on it of course this could have been just from being shot because obviously gunfire is happening everywhere on the scene right now but you could assume that maybe if you walk in it you take damage but if you're driving a vehicle through it you're fine be kind of interesting to see how that actually plays out and of course once we get a release date for this map i'll let you guys know here on the channel well, let's get into the other topic within this video now i'm sure many of you don't remember this but i released this video over a year ago and that's talking about the map nemesis right here potentially coming in within season three in fact it was actually originally planned to be released over a year ago 
but then things changed. And this map is called Nemesis, and it's such an amazing map because it's a Forge map that looks legitimately dev made, and it had me so excited that this map was coming. I had a chance to play around with it when it comes to Forge maps uh, with the custom game browser and things like that. We had some custom game nights on it. It was a lot of fun. But there was a major issue that was plaguing this map from it being able to join in with the map pool. That issue being desync. It was an actual issue with the game that what I talked about previously on my channel here that with the networking update, it was removed desync apparently, which is really nice. But the biggest thing about that is that not only that your shots will register better, it alleviated a lot of issues that came with Forge map design because these things was a very common issue that Forgers had to work around. And the biggest nemesis of this map was, well, desync. I had a chance to talk with the developer, or if you want to call it that, or the Forger who made this map, and they legitimately said that, yeah, the big issue was desync, where people were actually falling through the map because of while well, the networking model is within Halo Infinite. Obviously something you'd not really like to see happen. Now, I personally didn't experience any of this while playing on the map, but when you play online, weird things happen within the wild. And Twitter info guy Rebs Gaming recently said here that the map was on back burner for the longest time because of all desync issues and recently replied to his own tweet saying the update that 343 decided to place Nemesis back on the back burner until the new networking model was added to Halo Infinite's multiplayer. Since the new model was added, Nemesis was added back to the testing pool for multiplayer and it's free of desync issues. Meaning we could see this map come into matchmaking relatively soon as also when I was talking with the person who made this map that they did actually help alleviate the issue at the time when they pointed it out from 343 about the issue of falling through the map because of desync. So we could see this map come into the game, maybe with the next major update, which would be really exciting because this map just feels such a classic Halo map with amazing visuals. Like again, like I said, you would not think that this is a Forge made map. This is an absolutely incredible map with a lot of really cool angles and ways to play the game. A lot of really interesting weapon spawns and just like, it's a, just overall a really great map. So once it comes into Halo Infinite, it'd be a ton of fun to actually jump in and play. Well, hearing this news sucks that hearing a map like Corrosion being delayed and also Nemesis being delayed for over a year until recently being put it back into the map pool, it does show that 343 are trying to keep this game afloat in some capacity when it comes to content coming in, which I'm very happy about. It's one of the unique things for Halo that really helps sustain itself, right? There's no other major game out there that has a map creation tool like Forge. And the community is amazing at forging content. So even though Halo Infinite's live service is winding down, we are still going to be getting a lot of content for this game because the community is amazing and will keep generating things because of the genuine love for this franchise. And once we get some information about Corrosion and Nemesis coming into the game, you know I'll share with you guys here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to tap like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.